Hey everyone, this is Julie, aka Beauty Girl 257, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to pull properly pull off an appropriate eye look for a bright eyeshadow. And today I'm going to be using the color green, bright green looks like that. And I'm going to be doing a nude lip. Um, and the lip color I'm using is Strut on Nude by Coastal Scents, as long uh, as well as Carmex lip balm stuff. So yeah, if you want to check out how this was done, it's like this. Stay tuned. Bye. As well as a light green cream shadow. This is in Sunrise. It's a cream trio from Avon. And that is going to help the eyeshadow to adhere better and last a little bit longer. Um, today I'm going to be using a bright green color as my bright uh, color of choice, shall I say, and this is from Ardeen's, and they actually have very good eyeshadows, like look at this, you see that? Pigmentation is amazing, they're cheap, they're like two for six bucks, and that's in Canada, so it's probably cheaper in the States, um, with the exchange and everything, so yeah, they're good. Anyway, I'm going to be putting this on an eyeshadow brush, this is from Coastal Scents, and I'm just going to be patting that on top of the cream shadow. Now keep in mind that um, I only want to apply the cream shadow um, on my lid, not up near my brow bone or near my crease. Well if you get it a little bit over your crease that's okay actually because the cream shadow, what's great about cream shadows is that you can easily just wipe it like that and it will go away. Next I'm just going to dab off my brush here on a tissue. I'm going to take the tip like that and I'm just going to blend out the harsh edge there. There we go. The next step to making a bright shadow work is going to be a matte brown color. And to add it, uh, blah, blah, blah. I always stutter in my videos. It's so weird. I'm going to be using the Coastal Scents Original Palette and I'm going to be using this matte brown right here. It's the far right row, no, second in from the far right, four down, right there. And on a crease brush, this is from Coastal Scents, I'm going to be putting that on there. I'm just going to be starting from the outside. As you can see, it's really dark. I'm just going to work my way in lightly. If you have too much, you can just tap it off or um, wipe it on a tissue. I'm just going to work in and blend that all the way into the crease and up. Now I'm going to take a lighter matte brown. I'm going to be taking the one right above it. Oh, this one right here. And I'm going to be applying that just um, on top of the dark brown. I know that's not very blended. I gotta blend it better, but um, I'll be doing that after. You're gonna apply it just above the dark brown right here. Like if you were to split that crease color in half like this, it would be the top half that you're putting the lighter brown on. I'm just going to blend those two colors, making sure that the lighter brown is focused more on the outside and up top. Next, I'm taking a big, huge fluffy brush. This is usually what I use for my highlight. Looks like this. And this is clean, so I'm just going to... Well, I've actually... I used it on my other eye, but... I have not used it before that. So I'm just going to blend out that dark brown. Mute it out so it's not so harsh. Next, I'm going to be taking that crease brush again, and I'm taking a matte black in the bottom right-hand corner of the Coastal Scents Original Palette, the 88 one, and I'm putting this in my outer V. I'm just lining it like that first. I'm just going to take off the excess on a tissue, otherwise it's going to look like I've been punched in the eye, and that's not really the look we're going for today. So, yeah. 
And these matte shadows are really going to add depth to your eyes, and they're also going to make that color that you want to use pop, which is really the goal. Next, I'm going to take that fluffy brush and just blend it. The key to using dark matte colors is to really make sure that you blend them because they are very um, bold and sometimes when you don't blend them properly they get really muddy looking. So you gotta really thoroughly blend them. And that's really what is the importance of a good brush is to uh, make sure that the bristles really get in this so they can blend the color. Um, yeah. Next, I'm taking a shimmery white pigment, if I could find it, here it is, and this is from Faces, and this is just a white pigment with white shimmer, so it doesn't have any colored reflex in it. I'm going to put that on my big fluffy brush that I told you I used for my highlight, I'm going to dab it like that. The reason I'm dabbing it like that is so it doesn't get everywhere if I wipe it. I just dab it like that, and once I have the color on nicely how I like it, then I blend it. as well. Like that. Okay, so next I'm going to be focusing on applying my eyeshadow underneath the lash line. So I'm going to take this green color and I will be putting it on an eyeliner brush like this. This is just um, a straight one. You can use an angled one. It doesn't really matter. Even a smudger brush would work for this, depending on how thick you want to apply your line. I'm just applying it halfway. Actually, three quarters. I lied. I'm sorry. Like that. Then I'm going to be mixing that dark brown with the black. And I'll be applying that. Like, I'll be guiding it. As you can see, it's kind of like this towards the end of my eyebrow. I'm just going to go like that. I'm just going to blend it so it's not so bold. So now I'm going to be applying my eyeliner. I'm going to be using a satin gel eyeliner from Avon. This is um, black pearl and it's black with a gold reflex. Like that. Now I got this, I'm just taking a bent eyeliner brush like this and applying it, just smudging it into my, oh, I got a little clump there. Just smudging it into my upper lash line. You can carry it a little bit further if you want, like make a little bit of a wing. I kind of did that on the side. Now a great thing about eyeliner is if you want to prevent it from drying out while using it, you can flip it over, like flip it onto the table like that, and it'll prevent it from drying. I got that tip from a video um, from a guru. I really can't remember her name and I tried looking up the video. Oops and I couldn't find it and I was mad because it's not my idea, it's somebody else's but I just thought I would share it with you guys in case you hadn't heard of it. I'm just going to apply that to the rest of my upper lash line. Okay, so I've applied that satin gel eyeliner to my top lash line. Now I'm going to take a um, black on, let me find it one second. Ooh. Ten light years later, I find my eyeliner. Here it is. This is CoverGirl Line Exact. And this is like a little pen. I love these. You guys need to go get some of these. They're good price too. They look like that. And you can apply these on your um I apply these on my waterline because it doesn't bother me. So I just 